Hello everyone, my name is Hina Parmak and I am a student of English department Maharaja Krishna Kumar Seja Bhavnagar University. On 5th September, we are going to celebrate Virtual Teachers Day and as a part of that, I am going to make a short lecture video on a topic, the concept of freedom in Champol Satre's philosophy. First look at uh, a short introduction about Champol Satre. Uh, Jampal Satre was a, a leading figure and important figure in existentialism. Uh, he was French philosopher, playwright, novelist, screenwriter, political activist, biographer and literary critic. He is considered one of the uh, leading figures in 20th century French philosophy and Marxism. Uh, Satre was uh, and his work, work has influenced sociology, a critical theory, post-colonial theory, and literary studies. And now, let's look at some key ideas about, uh, his, about example, Satre. Existence precedes uh, essence. This means that uh, we are not born with a predetermined purpose or uh, meaning in life. Instead, we are free to create our own meaning and purpose. Like uh, uh, nobody was nobody was born with their particular purpose of their life. Uh, we are free to create our uh, own uh, own meaning. And then uh, the burden of freedom. Satri argues that freedom is not something that we can escape. We are always free to choose, even if our choices are limited. This freedom can be a burden as it means that we are responsible for our own actions. Like uh, um, someone feels that uh, freedom uh, freedom is a burden but uh, th that is uh, the result of their own uh, actions. And then Satre's work has been controversial. So, Satre's most of the work was controversial because of his uh, atheist philosophy but uh, it has also been highly influential he is one of the most important philosophers of the 20th century that we all know that and uh, his ideas continue to be uh, debated and discussed today by the uh, scholars and students and then let's discuss about the what is the concept of freedom in Champol Satre's philosophy so the Jhampul Satre in being and nothingness append, uh, uh, append the uh, conventional view of freedom and frames uh, the issue in a new existential framework. For Satre, human reality is free because it is not full and sufficient like the being in itself uh, like material objects and as man is uh, incomplete, man had a possibility and he has the power of choice thus freedom is not a being it is nothingness of being he for this he states that man cannot be sometimes slave and sometimes free he is wholly and forever free or uh, he is not free at all this depends on particular human beings and then further satres and then further, Satre uh, advocates uh, absolute freedom. Yet he understands that there are many things which abstract our uh, exercise or freedom. Such obstacles uh, to freedom and be categorized used five heads. Those five heads are my place, my past, my environment, other human beings, and my death. Any elements and things which uh, affected uh, our freedom. Those five things are my place, my past, my environment, other human beings, and my death. So those five categories, Satre says, may abstract human freedom to a certain extent. Uh, but in a all, all of them, it is possible to construct a new situation while speaking about my place. So, Satre says that the place of birth is not determined by the choice of the individuals. Like we are not free from choosing our birthplace. Uh, and about my past, he says that freedom means an escape from the past. Uh, but it, um, but it, is the, it does mean that 
means means that freedom is possible independently of the past regarding my environment satre says that an environment consists consist of thing which surrounded us which they are uh, sufficient of adver adversity and unity again he says that other human beings also limit our freedoms like um, other human beings are surround us uh, surround our environment can also affect our freedom and then finally uh, satre says that death is the limit of everything and the uh, in in that sense it is the limit of our situation because uh, are we are not free to die but we are being who are mortal like uh, the final thing of this uh, uh, five heads are death and uh, the death is not uh, in our hand we are not free to choose our death uh, and uh, and then uh, satres uh, 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 give uh, uh, some ideas about freedom in relation with responsibility in that uh, one important aspect of satre's existentialist humanism is the understanding of the word subjectivism he points out that the word subjectivism is to be understood in two senses uh, in first uh, subjectivism means Uh, the freedom of the individual subjects and the second subjectivism means man cannot pass beyond human uh, objectivity in satre's philosophy it is found that when a man chooses for himself he also chooses for everyone for him uh, for satre uh, he further says that what we choose is always better and uh, nothing can be better for us unless it is better for all and then satre wanted to establish existentialism as a true humanism and he expressed those ideas in existentialism in uh, humanism which is published in 1945 and in uh, materialism and revolution published in 1946 uh, satre says that the basic idea of existence uh, existentialism is that most crucial situation the most different circumstances man is free the satre holds that our existence is absolutely free and is consist in uh, developing our life in f- full freedom this freedom brings responsibility and, and uh, freedom exists uh, exist for us in two forms the first form is freedom of choice and second of us second is choices of freedom he was atheist and he was not believe in god uh, so satre's whole philosophy of existentialist humanism is atheist in character and uh, there is no god in satre's existentialism uh, he gives impo- importance to the human being in the in this world he is an atheist and therefore we have seen that the fundamental post- uh, postulates of his uh, ontology are the absence of god or uh, any super power in his existentialism he also wanted to prove nietzsche's famous saying that god is dead and uh, 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 tries to establish atheism by giving more importance to human uh, human existence like um, satre was uh, not believe in god and not believe in any super powers so, uh, so he was uh, just uh, give importance to human being uh, humanism Uh, and um, he he believed that uh, there were no any uh, any god and satre rejects the uh, traditional concept of freedom and uh, satre gives three words to god omnipotent omni omniscient and uh, omnipresent omnipotent means god have god has power uh, all over the people and uh, omnipresent means uh, god god is present to everywhere and for him god is like a writer of a book uh, who uh, the writer is responsible for the create creation of each and every word in the book and but he has no control of it and god is the uh, creator of the universe but he does not exercise control over it it uh, if 
there is any god then he is meaningless for human being or human existence conclusion satra existentialism is humanistic for him man is absolutely free by this uh, by this absolute freedom he creates his uh, essence on his own he creates himself what he wants to do there is no external force which determine man's nature it is a man who is fully responsible and free satra believes that man is responsible for his own uh, actions and there is there were no god who responsible for for uh, anyone's actions so this is all for my uh, topic thank you for watching my video hope you like this video if you like my video then please uh, do like share and subscribe thank you for watching